What's up everybody, Yogi here. Today I'm doing Kimimaru's A rank heart only using only free to play ninja. What you want to focus on bringing here is ninja with AoE to help clear out the mobs and ninja with strong ultimates to wipe out Kimimaru on the last map before he starts spamming his jutsu and ultimate because once he starts doing that he's going to keep doing it every single last turn back to back and you will not last long at all. So starting off on map one, you have three enemies to deal with. What you want to do here is just use your jutsus to get rid of them down to one and then stall back up your chakra. You're going to be doing this on pretty much every single last wave, especially in my case since I do not have any AoE ninja except Madara. But the most important thing to remember here is staying spaced out before anything else. Another thing to keep in mind is that HP bottles will be popping up on this stage, so as always, do not grab them immediately, let them grow over time and get to their third stage so when you do need them you can go ahead and claim it and get back most of your HP. Now whether you're watching this for heart only or you actually need help with body only and you don't have like enough nukes to take down Kiyomaru before he starts spamming, what you want to do is go for characters who have immobilized, specifically like Hashirama for body and then uh, Karen Sasuke for heart only. Kabuto also has 60% chance of immobilizing on his ultimate, so you can use him instead if you need to worry about that, but heart only is not too hard to do. If you have two Madras, he will pretty much destroy his HP. If he does hang on, you can finish him off with another ultimate. But you know, this is for those people who don't have him. Another important thing I want to tell you guys is some of these enemies will start using support skills over time and boosting their attack each time they use it. So you got to be careful about which ones do it. I can tell you right now that the one farthest to the right, he is going to start using it and that is the one I ended up stalling on. That's because he started doing it really late game. So if they do start activating it and you still have a few other ones you can take out, you want to get rid of them first because the damage does rack up a lot. On to map two, you have three waves to deal with, and on the third wave, you have to deal with the first version of Kiyomaru, and he does have a lot of HP, so all I'm gonna do is take out the first wave, make sure to stall up on the second wave, and then I will be ready for the third wave.
So now that we're onto the third wave, I'm gonna go ahead and start using my ultimates. You wanna make sure that you space yourself out as far as possible from those attack reductions. It really matters when you're doing your jutsus and ultimates. Now when I go for Madara's as well, you get to see how much HP he really has. And if you do not take out King Maru fast enough and he has danger and about to use his jutsu, you need to make sure to space out because he does have AoE on that jutsu. So now I'm gonna go for Yugito's jutsu here and it will not be enough to take him out actually. So if you're doing this, just use your other character's ultimate because I should've just went for size here. If I did use size ultimate, then I would've gotten all the chakra back for it around the same time as Madara's was, so no reason to actually save it. Now all you gotta do is stop for the third map and you're good to go. On to map 3, you have another 3 waves to deal with, so it's the same thing as on map 2. Third wave, Kiyomaru will appear, so you want to go ahead and wipe out the first wave. Second wave, make sure to stall up. And also be very careful not to grab any of the HP bottles because you will be wanting them for once you get to the boss. And I know this looks like it's taking a long time to get through, it's just because of the units I'm using. If you have ninja with AoE or stronger Jutsus and Ultimates, it will be going a lot quicker. Okay guys, so now we're up to the boss. Now things did not go exactly as planned. I planned on using Kabuto's ultimate and immobilizing him, then going for all the rest of my ultimates to nuke him and finish him off. But the problem with that is even if I went for Madara's ultimate right here and took out uh, the cannon fodder and damaged Kimimaru, my other ultimates would not have been enough to finish him and also I had to deal with the remaining ninja because if I get comboed by all of them, I will be losing real quick. So now the plan is to take out the other ninja and then stall back up Kabuto's ultimate before I go ahead and try to mute Kimimaru. 
Now at this HP he has, his attack pattern is literally going to be nothing but regular attacks every single turn. If you damage him to a certain point, a little bit more than this, he will start spamming his Jutsu and Ultimate every single last turn, so you do not really want to hit him. If you want to play around and do a few regular attacks, you can, but if you're going to be doing that, leave it on regular speed so you can reset the app if you can help it, because you do not want to deal with that. You will be losing if that happens, even with all the HP bottles sitting around. Alright guys, I'm about to get ready to use my ultimates on Kiyun Maru, but another important thing is once he does his Jutsu, he has a chance to immobilize your character, so when I use Yugito, Kabuto, and Madara's ultimate, and let's say he lives, I want to have Sai ready to go next turn, so if he goes for Yugito and immobilizes her, I want to go ahead and restart the app at that point. Now, Madara's ultimate will be enough to take him out here. But you need to keep in mind that he does have full dupes. I found one with uh, full ability stones used on him. So, you know, that is enough to take him out here. But if you are running just a regular Madara, you want to play it on the safe side. You can withstand a full wave of attacks from him, thanks to Yuito, just the Jutsu and Ultimate. But as long as you don't get immobilized, you're good to go. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Don't forget to leave a like, drop a comment, and subscribe. Peace.